Hi guys, another quick video here. I'm going to give you some more tips on how to spot a fake semiconductor. Um, now on the left hand side you'll see a fake Toshiba GT60N321 on the right hand side the real one. Uh, now obviously the real one comes in a Panasonic box because it's a, a genuine part. The fake one will just come uh, loose. And now if you watched my video before, like I said, the best thing you can do for spotting fakes is buy, invest some money in a jeweler's eyeglass because you need these half the time. The Chinese are getting so good at faking now, without this they're virtually undetectable. Um, but this is actually a very, very bad fake. So um, what I'll do is I'll move them out of the way first and I'll try and zoom in. The camera's not the best of cameras, but um, so you hope you might not see everything you need to in the video but um, hopefully I'll point out some of the things to look for right now bearing in mind this is the fake one so if we zoom in um, the writing on these devices are usually laser etched in which means the actual writing cuts into the surface of, of the device now there's two things the Chinese do they either repaint the front and add it on the new number but we'll come to that in a, another video. I'll make a, another video and show you how to detect um, a, a chip or a transistor that's been repainted. Um, in this one, we're going to cover, um, because the writing is laser etched in, what the Chinese do is they'll take the device and they'll, and they'll take any old device that looks like the one you want. Um, they rub it down like that on a piece of sandpaper and then they'll re-laser etch in new numbers. Now here's where the... Um, the, the, the problem for the Chinese lies, once you actually rub down the surface of this, you create two things. Um, I don't know if you can see there, but if you look, these very fine scratches running across the whole of the device, that's where it's been rubbed down on a piece of sandpaper. So with your jeweler's eyeglass, that'll stand out like a sore thumb. With a human eye, um, it's virtually undetectable. Um, now the second thing is, on the real one, because they actually rub the device down on a piece of sandpaper, um, if you look at these little eye dent holes, the more you rub the device down, the less the, um, the, hole, the holes become more shallow. And if you look at the eye dent there on the real one, and then you look at the fake one, it's actually been rubbed down that much that the eye dent mark there has actually disappeared they've rubbed that much um, surface off the case and if you look at the eye dents there you've got two very clearly defined deep holes but if you look on there uh, that much has been sandpapered down um, if they sandpapered anymore them holes will become totally invisible like that hole at the bottom there can you see it's almost disappeared so that's another indication for a fake. Um, now this is any old device um, that looks like the real one. Um, it's very, very hard to tell. But if you look at the legs just there, these legs have actually been spot welded on to an old body. Um, it's not going to show up on the camera. It's virtually undetectable. But there, there and there, if you look on there, you can see a clearly defined ridge where the legs are spot welded on. Now you might notice that, might not notice that at first, because what they do is they dip these in a, a solder bath, and that puts new solder on, and it actually disguises the spot welded legs on. Um, now the first, if you come to bend these legs by 90 degrees, the first thing will happen, the legs will drop off because they're only actually spot welded on and just dipped in solder and uh, we'll come to that in a minute but if you take a look at the surface of this this is actually very spotted and mottled that's the original one and if you look at that you can see there there's the, the actual surface has a different texture it has a flatter texture it's not all mottled it's very very flat and also it's a slightly different colour because it's actually been sandpapered down. Now this has been sandpapered down and it's had new laser etching 
um, numbers applied and they actually look like the real one um, but like I say with a jeweler's eyeglass although it doesn't look it doesn't look that much on the camera if you put under that put them both under a jeweler's eyeglass you'll see exactly what I mean but the big giveaway there is that hole if you look on there it's been sanded down that much the holes disappeared right I'll just uh, stop the camera and uh, I'll just show you another thing Right, now here we have um, another good example of a um, Chinese fake semiconductor. It's a 2SJ119. Um, they very often copied these because they're no longer available. If I tilt the camera there, you can well, you can't see very well. But the actual, it's been sanded down that much that only half of the hole is actually visible at the bottom. Uh, oh yeah, he brought it into focus. Now, if you look at the very bottom of the hole you see half of the holes missing you can see clearly defined the top of the little ident hole but the actual bottom part um, has been worn away by the sanding process now the front of the device i don't know if it'll show up on the camera is actually a very light green but when you turn it on its side you can see the real color which is a very dark green so by sanding it down um, and in this case it's not laser etched, it's just printed on numbers with some black paint um, the front of the semiconductor is a completely different colour to the sides um, now coming on to what I said before um, these legs here have actually just been spot welded on um, it looks okay um, you can't, this has had that much solder tinning applied to it that you can't actually see the join but you come to bend that by 90 degrees to say fit on a heat sink and uh, this is what will happen um, if you see there this is a um, it's not a 119 it's a different one it's a 2SK414 but it's part of the same fakery um, I've actually bent it 90 degrees and one leg's fallen off and if you look there the other leg's about to fall off where it's been um, spot welded on now if you took a real one and you bent it by 90 degrees the legs wouldn't fall off so um, that's another indication that you've bought a duffer and um, if you um, subscribe to my channel I'll make another future video and um, I'll show you how um, the Chinese can um, fake the semiconductors by actually uh, repainting them I'll show you what to look for in a repainted one okay guys thanks for watching and um, Subscribe to my channel for more. Yes. Just point it out with a pen. If you look at the little ident hole there, the bottom half of the hole, it's been sanded that much that the bottom half of the hole's disappeared. And also the top holes are very, very shallow. It's very difficult to pick up on the camera. But um, get yourself a jeweler's eyeglass and next time you order something on eBay, look for these telltale signs this has got the right printing on it looks exactly right but half of the holes missing there okay guys subscribe for more